As we have our house designed, there are few steps left before we frame our walls. To have everything configured perfectly, we need to link our wall types with the defined framing configurations, which comes with Wall Plus. How to set up your own ones? There's another part of this tutorial for that, so go and look for it. Now, let's open up T4R Wood Framing tab. and drag wall plus for better accessibility. Press wall link and find the types that were used to model a house and set the configurations. We can see that we have our framing layer and framing configuration modifiable. So firstly, let's set our framing layers, which is horizontal siding, vertical nailers. Wood frame is set automatically as it's a structural layer. And last is our sheeting layer. Then let's select framing configurations for those. Sheeting doesn't have a framing configuration as it is done automatically. Let's do the same for other types that we want to be framed. I have a partition wall. Let's select sheeting wood framing. Wood frame is selected automatically and sheeting over here. Press OK. Now, after we set up links, let's set up workshop drawing configuration, as we will want to make workshop drawings straight after we'll frame these walls. Go to workshop drawings, workshop drawing configuration, and here we can set the views, define a view name, framing layer, and we can also use Revit view templates to set up preferred template for particular views. We can also set up scales and other parameters such as dimension types or graphics for our workshop drawing views. Now let's select title block we want to use. I have only a one metric title block available so I'll select that. Then we are able to define sheet template. This is a very powerful thing because we are able to set up one workshop drawing and then use it as a template in all our workshop drawings in the project. For now it is empty but we'll get back to it as we'll set up our first workshop drawing for our framing. As I have my scheduled templates loaded and there is a tutorial how to do that and where to find them. Look for it if you didn't do it yet. For now, I will select wall framing elements, schedule. For my partless template, wall assembly material takeoff for my material takeoff template, and a structural framing tag. Press OK. Now we're ready to frame our first wall. Select one of these. Go to Wall Plus and press Frame Wall. It will take a second or two to do that. Now we can add nailers. Select the wall. Go to Wall Plus and press Add Nailers. And lastly, I want to insert my siding. So select the wall, go to Wall Plus and press Add Siding.
As we have created our first frame, we can make workshop drawings for it. Select one element or a wall. Go to workshop drawings. Create frame assembly. If wall mark is not set, you would get an error message. How to set up your wall marks? There is a tutorial for that. Go and look for it. Assembly is created. And before we go to look at it, let's sort our assembly elements. So our elements will have good tags on them. Let's select the assembly. Go to workshop drawings. And press sort assembly elements. Elements will be sorted. And now let's go and check what was done. Let's go to project browser. And look for assembly category. Expand it. And we can see that our assembly is named as a wall mark. Expand it again. Go to sheet. And we can see that our sheet is ready. And we can drag our views that we want to see in our sheet. So, I want my siding. Sheeting. Make sure these are aligned. And wood frame to be shown in my workshop drawings. We can align them to meet our needs. Now we can insert schedules. And our workshop drawing template is ready. So go to workshop drawings, workshop drawing configuration, and set this sheet as a sheet template for our workshop drawings. Press OK. Now we can frame all our walls. Select everything. Press filter button and filter out your walls. Exclude the wall that is framed. Go to wall plus and press frame wall. And all of the walls of this building will be framed. I will speed this video up for demonstration purposes. Now we can add nailers, so select everything, press the filter button, filter out your walls, exclude the wall that is framed, go to wall plus and press add nailers. The message you are seeing asks if I want to proceed with this configuration. My wall framing interior walls doesn't have nailers, but I've selected them. It asks if I want to get back and set it in walling. I don't want that, so I will proceed and press continue. Let's do the same with sidings. Select all, press filter button, filter out walls and exclude the frame wall. Go to wall plus and press add siding. Press continue if you want it. Now 
As we have all of our walls framed, we can make workshop drawings for them. Let's select the elements we want to create workshop drawings for. Go to workshop drawings. Create frame assembly. Assemblies are created, so now let's select them and go to workshop drawings and sort assembly elements. Now we need for our template to be applied. Select these assemblies. And then go to workshop joins and press create update assembly sheet. Now we can go and check the changes in project browser. Here we have our assemblies created and templates applied. So let's check these. Everything looks alright. 